In this presentation, we we'll look in more detail about the material ledger. Let's look at what is a material ledger. In short, you can call it as ML. So it's a like a sub ledger of the general ledger for the materials. Now, when you look at the financial accounting module, you have the general ledger. Then you have sub ledgers like your customers, vendors, your accounts payable, accounts receivable, which are your sub ledgers. And then you have your assets, asset accounting, which is also another sub ledger. So similarly, you have another sub ledger called ML for material ledger, which is a sub ledger for the materials. So it's part of the general ledger, but it's like a sub ledger for the materials. So what does a material ledger do? It has the actual costs for materials. So it calculates the actual costs for materials. It also calculates the actual costs in multiple currencies. You can have up to maximum of three currencies and also multiple valuations. We can also call this as parallel currencies or parallel valuations. So let's look at this in more detail. Actual cost means you can actually calculate the actual cost for raw materials, semi finished goods materials, finished goods materials. So it revaluates the stock at actual prices. Then you have multiple currencies. So by default, you'll have one company code currency and you can have up to maximum two extra other currencies. And this is of course optional. And these postings, when you do, it converts into the extra currencies or additional currencies at the historical rate. So it takes at the time of posting. So the currency exchange rate conversion happens at the time of posting. So it is dependent on the posting date. Then the material ledger also calculates at multiple valuations. So you have your legal valuation, group valuation. This, of course, you are like your company code valuation. It can be in one currency. Then you can have a group valuation. It can be in a different currency. Then you can have your profit center valuation. So it can, my material ledger calcul can calculate at multiple valuations. So what is the purpose for actual costing? It is to calculate actual costs for materials procured from outside, which means you procure externally using your purchase orders and goods manufactured in-house. So you're going to calculate items which you're going to procure externally and the items that you're manufacturing in-house. This can be both semi-finished and finished products. So why it is difficult to calculate actual costs? But it's not as straightforward as just buying from a purchase order because you can have business transactions happening within the organization for those materials. Sometimes the purchase materials might lose in value or it might deteriorate it and there are so many other different type of variants can happen. For example, you can have a purchasing price variance, exchange rate variance, the invoice you get from the vendor might not match the PO which you have raised for those purchasing materials. So different type of variances can happen. And this all had to be calculated for the actual costing of the materials. Another scenario makes it hard is when you have a multinational organization with different plants across different countries and then you have the movement of goods between these different plants and there will be bound to be some exchange rate and other different type of variances coming as well. So this makes actual costing difficult. Hence that to do the actual costing system uses a calculation using the material ledger. So what is the concept of actual costing? The actual cost is calculated using the standard cost of materials. Standard cost is like a standard cost you apply to the material master. It can be the preliminary or the initial cost. And then you add in the variances. This is the basic concept of actual costing. You have the standard initial cost plus you add the variances. Now this actual cost is calculated at period end or your month end. Now we'll be using the terminology period end rather than month end. It is called as periodic unit price. Now we won't be referring to this anymore as actual cost. In between, of course, I'll come to it as actual cost. But now, once because this actual cost is calculated at period N, in SAP terms, it is called as periodic unit price. So the periodic unit price of that material. So the average periodic unit price for so every month, it gets updated. And that will be your periodic unit price for your material, which is your actual cost of that material. We will look at this periodic unit price in more detail in our next slide. So periodic unit price or in short PUP or PUP. PUP is the average actual cost of the materials in the material ledger. So it's the average actual cost. Every period you update the 
you do as part of the paid activities you update the standard cost or the actual cost of the materials and you get the paid